Hello everyone, Neil Wolf 1991 here. I'm back to Let's Play. Did you guys miss me? Oh, of course you didn't. Anyway, now that I have Dazzle, I can finally do a PlayStation 2 game. Hooray! And I decided to do one of my favorites. Oh, support controller. There we go, my PlayStation 3 controller works just fine, thank you. Ubisoft Entertainment. Get key with a horrible scribble. An error ruined. The divine beasts who crossed the forest were attracted by the requiem of black and white offered up by my father and me and were sealed in a corridor of eternity. The story of Guy, a prophet of tr great tranquility. Once they are cleansed, people will receive the fruit of new knowledge. However, this fruit bears seeds of warning. A new ordeal, a new enemy. The, the sacred spirits who came from deep within the wormhole forest will become hosts to the darkness and they will gain wisdom, as my dogs bark, and you can hear it probably. Kalma, a beast within the wisdom of darkness, heading for the surface, appearing like a human, out to exterminate the evil spirits of the forest, minus humans. Dot, dot, dot. I organize the heroic troops, taking the advice of the sacred spirit Kikina. The troops made good use of the sacred battle, sacred battle formation devised by the ancient Gehenna arts. People call them the Beast Hunters. Ooh, quotes. Long dramatic pause. Yes, J Cocoon 2. This was one of my first PlayStation 2 games and is one of my favorites. I love this game. I had J Cocoon 1. I'm not sure if I'll let's play that one. But, uh, yeah, let's get started. I have no idea if I, uh. uh I might have forgot to set the memory card up. Oh well. Yes, that was Nico. She is a fairy. We'll meet her again a couple times in the story. I warp into a world. Is this the power of magic too? Hmm, this place is pretty small inside. Now, how do I get to be a cocoon master? Maybe I'll ask someone. <coughs> and yes, this is the lounge. You talk to people. Sometimes you get hints, sometimes... Um... Hints and converse with people here. Um, first thing, I think I'll check out the options real quick. Uh, settings. Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. Change this to. 
I'm wondering what that giant batch of circles is. We'll get to that later. Oh, probably not in this LP, but this episode, but we'll see. Hey you! What's that next to you? It's the bulletin board. First time here. Yep, I just got here. This is the bulletin board. You get jobs and you can get really cool rewards and items and stuff. Um Yeah, why not? Coon Master, lots of laughs in the past. We're all beast hunters. Beast hunters? Is that a cocoon master? A super cocoon master? Think of it more like a super hyper cocoon master. Remember that. Anyway, you got a license, sir? A license? What's that? Do I gotta have one? Of course. Go to the Jade Throne Room and train to get one. You need a license to control beasts. You need a license to wear a hat. You need a license to wear, do the weapons. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here. Are you a rookie? Me? I'm Kalu. Pleased to meet you. Oh, I'm not too sure I'm so pleased to meet you. Should I be? Huh? Why not? Did I say something wrong? Why should I trust you? Okay. This is how you get to everything. Uh. Um, I'm gonna go this way. I don't think you get anything special from talk going to the other rooms yet. <coughs> Whoa, this place is a lot smaller than I thought. Sorry, first time here. Sir, where's the chief? I wanna be a cocoon master. The Navi people are no longer here. Gone on a long journey, leaving my wife and I in charge of the temple. Now I alone protect the temple. Sir, are you the legendary cocoon master, Lavon? <laughs> Who says I am legendary? As you see, I am quite alive. Since then, I have forgotten how long I've were I a normal man, should have died long ago. Ah, uh, please pardon my bad habit of talking too long. I know I've been very long. I would love to listen to this guy some more. However, as I'm on a timer here. <laughs> I see. Let's start your training. What's your name? My name's Kaho. I want to work hard and get strong like you, Lavon. Pleased to meet you, Kaku. A present from me to you. Take it. Shinies! A magic glove on your arm it now. It is a beast amulet. Man's only weapon for fighting against divine beasts. It is a magic amulet. Made by deciphering the ancient scrolls of Gehenna. With it, Divine beasts can be handled without using the way of divine beasts. Cool. Can I keep this? Thanks. First, you need to learn walking through the wormhole forest. But if you have no interest in the forest, I will not force you. Many of today's youngsters are so impatient, it's hard to teach them. I think I'll have time for it. See the glowing gateway? That is the Kamari Gate. You go in from there. Push the button in front of the gate and then you go. Now, try it. And that is to the tutorial. Uh, just a quick note, this guy was actually the first, the main character of, uh, the first Jinkaku. And yes, in the end of that one, he becomes, like, immortal and stuff. So, he can't die. And now we head to the tutorial. I should have enough time to do the tutorial. We'll see. Shiny. Wow, there are these weird plants all over. This is an island in space-time, the Wormhole Forest. The divine beasts have a habit of making nests in the plants called ogre vine. Once in the forest, first look for the nests of the divine beasts. 
nests of divine beasts. Ogre vine? What's that? Are they big? The ogre vine is quite a bit larger than the other plants in the forest. It's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. If you get lost, push the beast amulet's triangle button and call me. The beast amulet has a triangle button on it? Yes, this is a forest. I'm being caught Captain Obvious here. We'll just say that's an exit. That's a princess vine bud. Use the key spores to open the bud and go in. I was to about to explain bud, that. You must first find the ogre vine. Yes, the yes. Ogre vine's a big plant that gives off light and vibrates. Go find it. And this is the ogre vine. Wow, this is huge. Could this be it? Mama, is this it? Explaining everything for me, not giving me anything to talk about. Cool. I can hear something. Like it's alive. Of it's course alive. it's alive. We're in the male stalk of the wormhole plant. Male? Is there a female one too? Exactly. A male stalk is an ogre vine. A female stalk is a princess vine. I can tell you more about this plant if you want. Two things of note in here. There's a bird and an egg. Uh, three things. If an exclamation point appears, it means there's an item around. To pick up an item, press the X button. How do they know these things? I don't know. And that's the time of talks. We'll get to hatch that later. Huh? What's this? Some sort of weird egg? That's a divine beast egg. So divine beasts are hatched from eggs. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get lots of eggs and raise divine beasts. Finding eggs is merely one means of boosting your fighting power. Our object as beast hunters is to purify dark divine beasts called Kalma. Aim for even deeper levels so we can purify even more Kalma. To advance to the next level, you need the key. Look over there. Those are key spores. They open the buds on the princess vines as exits. In short, they are like keys to the next level. To find key spores, look for the sparkling stamens. Remember this. Now go on and pick up the key spores. Guys, getting all this? Make sure you write it all down. I got it. Now what do I do? Can you eat this thing? Eat it, and your body gives off odors that stimulate the princess vine. Stimulated by odors, the princess vine buds open. That's how it works. So. Ew, this looks pretty weird. Yeah. Just swallow it. You'll be okay. Beast hunters have it pretty rough. Huh? Hey, something smells sweet. Spores. Now, find the exit. Right about now, the princess vine bud should be opening. Now, go outside and find the princess vine. I just kind of realized how... Uh, I... I'm gonna st stick with what Levant is thinking and try not to talk too much about it, because that is pretty gross. Okay, anyway, let's move on to the next, uh,
part of the forest. Yep. Um, I should be able to do one more. We shall see. We don't have a monster yet. We can't fight now. I'm sorry, divine beast. We need a purified comma. In order to see the comma, we have to go through the ogre vines and find the keys for it. It enters the princess vines. <sighs> now you can learn how to use divine beasts. Yes! So now I can finally start raising divine beasts. You're on your own for a while. Try talking to lots of different people. Press the button on the top of the transporter. Then pick where you want to go. Go to Kikinak and Company for information about items picked up in the forest. The Shrine Maiden in the Room of Light will tell you about hatching eggs. After hatching your eggs, go to the arena to learn about battle formation. How can I remember all that at once? Let's meet back here once your arena training is finished. Alright, so basically the game tells you, Room of Life, after you finish there, go to arena. We're going to quickly go to the Room of Life, so we can hatch that egg we got. Hey Smith, I got a divine beast egg! What do I do now? Well then, shall we hatch the egg? I don't even think she's noticing how tall he is. Welcome to the room of life. Here I can hatch eggs and merge divine beasts. To hatch eggs, please select hatch eggs. Oh gee, what do I click? And then... Tamatosh. Shiny! Shiny, shiny, shiny! There we go, we have a little red Pikachu. <laughs> uh, I have to name this thing. I don't know what the name is. Um, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it something simple. My TV is glitching out on me. You're gonna be called Fyro. He is fire element, so you stick him on the fire side. Okie dokie. This completes your practice in hatching and arranging divine beasts. Now, go to the arena and learn the basics of how to fight battles. The divine beast hatched today is in the beast notebook, so check it out. Now, give the newborn a good name to be good care of. Yeah, we already did that already. Okay, so I guess that'll be it for today's up episode. We will continue this more next time. See you all. Bye.